psyche is a term used by the ancients to describe the soul. But what is the soul exactly? In Greek mythology, Psyche was a goddess paired with the god Cupid. Cupid signifies the internal fire, where Psyche signifies the breath of life itself. This breath of life is the soul given to all creation by the divine creator via a cup, or as some call it, a chalice. All have the ability to drink from their own cup of life. However, some forget how to access this magical fountain of existence. Instead, they choose to drink from others. Drinking from your own chalice symbolizes plugging into your own light, which simply is your spirit, and allowing it to flow into you. This is called manna in the old days. Manna simply is your Christ light that is supplied to you via your soul, your psyche. The Christos light is seen as golden, hence the term the golden chalice. It fills up this cup at your ninth chakra, which is located at the base of your skull. It then is poured into your spine to enter your bone marrow. This is the location where those important DNA cells start to form prior to transferring into your T cells. Some call this DNA activation or DNA upgrades. This light that enters your DNA can be seen as the library of your essence. All information known to your soul is stored within this light, this beautiful golden manna. When you drink from this, you are able to feed from the all-knowing mind of your essence. When you go into proper meditation, you become plugged into your higher essence via the golden thread. This thread is connected as a pillar of light from your crown chakra of your lower self which simply is your incarnate essence, to the crystalline heart of your higher self. This heart can be seen as a beautiful plasma pool of pure light. Each water molecule of that pool is like a crystalline book that houses light codes. These are the books of light, of information that you can drink from. All you simply do is go deep within your heart, connect to your own light, and visualize those beautiful plasma light drops being poured into your crown. No external sound is needed. No external guidance is needed. All you need is you. Those who do this process automatically are the ones that those termed service to self try to so-called manipulate. But what does that even mean when in reality nobody truly manipulates you without your approval? When those who are not fully consciously aware of their own light see other lights, they are subconsciously drawn to that light. They are pulled towards the bright light like a ship lost at sea is to a lighthouse. They then try to plug into your light to feed themselves. What we mean here is they long to drink from the golden chalice. Some say this gives them powers, but what is that exactly? The power to do what? The term power stems from the word pari, which simply means to pour. Having power means to pour from another's cup or golden chalice in this context. But is it not you who allows them to drink from your chalice? When you feel sudden fatigue or a shift in your emotional state, take a minute to see who are you in contact with. For those who actively use their psychic abilities and feel as if someone is plugged into your light, pause and try to pinpoint whom is it streaming from? Sometimes souls we know in this lifetime 
have a fractalized version of themselves on another timeline. That fractalized version will use their own aspect that is located within this time node to drink from your light. Those who have their Christ seed fully in bloom have brighter lights and a steady stream of it. This is the fountain of light those fractalized souls aim to drink from. It helps them to gain more energy, so to speak. True discernment is needed here. Many complain how tired they feel or that others are manipulating them when they are the same ones who feel they must save every broken bird. This is especially true within the healer communities. If you use all of your light to help all who come to drink from you, how does this help for the higher good? Maybe that other person is placed on a rocky path so they can expand and grow from it. Sometimes when you step in to help others, you are not fully trusting spirit. Each person is on their pathway they are designed to be on. It is not up to another to judge or try to alter their own pathway to their chosen destiny. All of existence plays a character. They play an archetype. Even though you have kind intentions of helping, what you are truly doing is straining your own battery. Those who have that steady stream of Christos light are supposed to keep their battery always running at full speed. This light helps to feed the grid of the earthly worlds directly from the organic higher planes. If you are given away that light instead of allowing it to filter through you and enter the earth grid, is this not slowing down that beautiful matrix shift that all long for? Take time to pause and connect more within. Those who feel uncomfortable being alone or feel a need to reach out to others to hold their hand while walking down their so-called spiritual path, ask yourself, what am I afraid of that I feel I cannot do this alone? Why do I doubt and dismiss my own light that is here to guide me? Why do I feel I need to get psychic readings all the time? Is there a fractalized version of myself working through me to feed from them? To feed from me? If yes to that, then you need to heal that aspect of your essence to get you off your constant time looping record. This is for those who feel stuck on their journey. Maybe take the time to go within and really look at all aspects of yourself. If you're constantly seeking outwardly for guidance and assistance, that means that you're not willing to face your own shadows, to take time to look into the hall of mirrors that is placed there to show you who you truly are. So that way you can fully heal and get back on track to continue down your own pathway and to follow your own destiny. Those who have psychic abilities have them because they have that steady flow of light streaming from their soul. You have that ability too. Just take the time to pause and connect with your own psyche. Take time to feel your own heartbeat. The beautiful vibration that plays the tune of your own essence. Feel it. See it. Love it. Love you. Thank you.